Horizontal Navigation Bar, Basic Procedures After the overview and introduction of the Flex Client application, in this section we would like to show instructions in the Horizontal Navigation Bar for getting started with the Flex Client application. You have just learned how to toggle between system monitoring and event handling. The Horizontal Navigation Bar offers much more, such as notifications, layout settings, additional information like the Help or the About page and the User menu. Please note that the user used for this tutorial has extended read and write permissions and consequently you may only have reduced access to features and not be able to perform all settings. First, if you use one of the functions offered in this bar, the feature of the Write panel is also applied here and can be closed by clicking on the X. The Notification Center icon notifies the operator about Flex client notifications from the different system applications, for example, new active system events, suppressed objects, and so on, that have occurred since the last time the operator checked on the management station. Here, as an example, we are notified that the events of seven objects are suppressed. This counter is reset every time the Flex client application is started. After logging in, the new events are counted individually. This means that the events since the last logoff are combined into a group with the counter one, and, as can be seen in our example, alarms are suppressed for seven objects. The layout settings offers options to customize or personalize the layout as follows. The teal color indicates the current setting. Since we are selecting the layout settings for the first time, we see the default settings. In status bar height, we have the option between reduced or expanded view. Note. If the summary bar is already reduced because of low screen resolution, these icons will not be available. Pane layout offers the possibility to choose between three different layouts. In text representation we set how system objects are labeled. We change in the system browser from application view to logical view and open the navigation tree a bit. Have a look at how the objects in the system browser are labeled and now we change to description and name which will add the description texts to the name of the different objects. The button default layout restores the two layouts for status bar and pane layout back to the default settings, but not the selected text representation. When the panes layout is locked, you cannot resize, expand, or collapse the panes. Per default the panes layout is unlocked. Please note, your preferences are automatically saved when you exit the Flex client application and persist across sessions. The question mark icon allows us to launch the Flex client online help or view the about page. We close the about information page using the appropriate function. Clicking on the user's initials icon displays the user menu with the logged in user at the top, followed by four features below, account, notifications, user roles, and log off. The account page shows the most important properties of the logged in user, with the option of customizing the Flex client startup location or changing the user's password, which is valid throughout the system. The first thing that stands out in the account is the Change Password button, where there is a self-explanatory option to change the password. Furthermore, the following properties are clearly presented in two bars, Account Name, Full Name, Used Language, and Client Profile of the User. The settings of the next two bars can be changed in the Flex Client by clicking the Edit button. In the startup view we set the Flex Client favorite homepage. The default setting is the application view. We have the option to select any other defined view, including customized views. We select the logical view, and in this view, we select the top object logical. It is also possible to select a child object. We confirm with the button select. The option remove filter on new events is explained in in the event treatment chapter. We save the favorite homepage with logical view and the startup node logical, log off and log on again with the new defined homepage. Let's go to the notifications settings. Here, too, the Flex client provides us with settings to personalize the user interface. 
These settings influence the notification of events. However, it also requires the basic knowledge of how alarms can be handled and therefore we will show these possibilities also in the chapter event treatment. For this next topic, we switch briefly to the user one which is a basic building automation operator with reduced privileges. The user roles settings allow to disable or enable additional user roles at runtime. To a user multiple roles can be assigned. This is the case when the specific user is member of more than one user group. A possible use case could be that the user by default holds a role with lower user rights but needs higher rights to take over or hand over access to certain system objects, including all related events and commands. In this case, the additional or supplementary roles appear in this setting, with the possibility to do a selection at the switch and apply them. In our example, we give the current user the role of building automation expert and confirm with apply. This action is confirmed by a toast notification. Vice versa, I can remove this role again. We are at the end of this chapter on the settings and customization of the Flex client and with the next video we would like to explain the selection pane or system browser in more detail.